arrival of Dolly the Sheep in 1996, people worldwide suddenly wanted to know, what is cloning and how can it affect me? Are people next? The media focus on reproductive cloning has triggered interest and alarm in many communities. But with reproductive cloning representing such a small part of many similar research projects out there, why are people so focused and concerned? My name is James J. Hughes. I teach public policy, health policy here at uh, Trinity College in the graduate program. I think the, the most primal um, concerns that we have are about how the natural order is supposed to work. When people violate those boundaries of what people consider the good or the right, then it makes us very uncomfortable. The media, horror fiction in particular, uh, science fiction, has an enormous impact on the way that people think about these issues. Um, so for instance, the creation of international armies of, of clones like you saw in the Star Wars movies, well that's, that's like saying that Frankenstein is a good argument against organ transplantation. You know, Frankenstein doesn't tell us what, whether organ transplantation is good or bad. It's very implausible that any uh, widespread cloning will ever take place. With news sources spotlighting stories with shocking titles, it's easy to accept the surface sensationalism. But we want you to dig a little deeper and make up your own mind about human reproductive cloning. To start, let's get some facts straight and find out why human cloning is really not such a big deal after all. Identical twins are more similar than the kinds of twins that we would create if you um, had a nuclear transfer from, you know, if you took the nuclear material from an adult and put it into an egg and fertilize an egg with that. There's more genetic difference between a parent and a child than that. There would be mitochondrial differences, for instance. So, in a sense, identical twins should be more troubling to people than, than uh, twins produced through nuclear transfer. We're figuring out how to use your own tissues to grow new body parts for you. And that's a far better therapeutic option than what we were trying to do with embryonic stem cells, which was to basically make a small clone of you um, by figuring out how to turn your nuclear material into a small embryo. There's an enormous number of books and uh, papers and ethical articles on, online about the ethics of cloning. I think that folks really shouldn't focus too much attention on reproductive cloning because in the broad scope of the kinds of biomedical uh, technologies that are going to impact our lives, it's going to have a very small role to play. The ones that really are going to have a huge role are tissue engineering, uh, life extension technologies, genetic enhancement technologies. I, think I urge people to look beyond reproductive cloning to the, the broader set of issues. Thank <laughs> you.